Bernie Sanders, he is soaring past Hillary Clinton in some of the early voting states in the polls there. Uh, and Bernie Sanders told our correspondent Nancy Cordes yesterday that it appears that the Clinton campaign is getting very, very nervous. And in fact, when you listen to Secretary Clinton, a lot of the uh, words coming out of her mouth seem strikingly similar to what I heard her saying when then candidate Barack Obama was coming up against her back in 2007 that he's unelectable. But Bernie Sanders' numbers keep going up. However, That's right. yeah, on CBS this morning, the former Secretary of State responded saying that she's very happy with how her campaign is going. Let's listen. No, and I, I, I just have a different uh, sense of the rhythm of a campaign. I spent uh, my campaign, you know, talking about the issues that people talk to me about, answering questions about what I would do as president. You know, now we're in the sprint to the finish line. So, Ed, what do you make of this? I mean, the, the idea that Secretary Clinton is using some of those same tactics by saying that the American people will not elect a socialist, Bernie Sanders, who's, who's uh, a, a quite a bit older, saying some of the same things that she said about Barack Obama. Yeah, you could play back the tape, and it's almost chapter and verse, and it does suggest that the race is tightening. That should not be a surprise to anyone, and it's not necessarily a reflection of Clinton doing badly. It's a reflection of the fact that people in Iowa and New Hampshire are starting to pay closer attention. They're seeing a lot more advertising. I can attest to that, having been in both states in the last week. You turn on the television, and you see a Bernie or Hillary ad pretty frequently. So, you know, they, they have no choice but to stand up and pay attention now. Uh, but he is doing well. And I think the biggest sign of the Clinton camp's concern is the fact that we're now seeing Chelsea Clinton out there. And she's not just talking about her mother. She's talking about Sanders. She's taking Sanders on uh, full bore. That suggests that, you know, there's a real concern in the Clinton world that younger voters especially, and maybe even women, are, are shifting towards Sanders. Uh, obviously, both of those have been seen as a potential Clinton strength. Deploying the former first daughter, though, to be an attack dog uh, is a sort of unprecedented space in American politics, and I think it's going to be very hard for the Clinton family from now on to defend Chelsea from attacks either by Democrats or Republicans. I'm confident she's aware of the risks, but it does show you how far they're now willing to go. So even if Sanders does win in Iowa and New Hampshire, uh, you know, you've got Super Tuesday primaries uh, shortly thereafter. Will it make a difference in the race? Sure, because he's got plenty of money. Sanders, Sanders isn't hurting for dough, that's for sure. I mean, he could, he could take this, and he already has operations in South Carolina and Nevada, uh, and, and it'll roll from there. And, and given the fact that he's been able to raise so much money and is raising it from small dollar donors, people who are only giving maybe 50 bucks or $25 and can be tapped over and over again until they hit that $2,700 limit, that suggests that he has, a, you know, a gas line essentially that will keep him going if need be. His challenge is going to be, A, he's not as well known outside those early four, and B, the Democratic coalition becomes much, uh, you know, much more uh, Hispanic and much more black. And, and he's going to have an issue, frankly, uh, uh, you know, appealing to those people when he doesn't have a history with them, when he comes from a, a rural New England state that is predominantly white. He is working on that. I know, for example, he's, he's devoted a lot of time to trying to build up Latino support in the West uh, and to some extent in the South. And if this continues on, if he's able to pull out victories in the first two states, uh, his strategy will be tested for sure. Ed O'Keefe of The Washington Post, thanks so much. Take care.